It's come to my attention and the attention of other airline pilots that there's a lunatic fringe movement of conspiracy theorists out there who believe in a thing called chemtrails. I've read the sites and I've even watched the Mickey Mouse production, What in the World Are They Spraying? Time and time again, the fact is purported that these chemtrails contain a high level of aluminum. Well, listen up, because what I have to tell you is going to devastate your ridiculous theory. Part of the most basic equipment on any regularly scheduled airliner is an onboard weather radar. Aluminum, even trace amounts, is highly reflective to radar waves. So reflective, in fact, that aluminum pods are carried on combat aircraft to foil radar-guided missiles. These pods are released when a lock is sensed and the radar signature left by the aluminum is so grandiose that the radar-guided missile breaks off and plunges straight into a cloud of aluminum particles. These chemtrails are purportedly released by other similar aircraft to airlines with the same operational ceilings. We, as airline pilots, have logged millions of hours every year at the same altitudes as these purported chemtrails and not once seen what would amount to a virtual wall of aluminum in the sky. These chemtrails would light up our radar scopes like Jackson Pollock paintings if they existed. Reports would fill the NASA ASAP system of pilots who thought that they were picking up the ground at 37,000 feet. That's how the radar returns would look. You crazy people are gullible, conservative pawns. Furthermore, regarding the longevity of these chemtrails, they are living no longer than they ever have before. They are simply being refreshed by aircraft flying along the same Victor Airways and jet routes as defined by very high frequency omnidirectional range beacons. GPS allows us very few divergencies from these routes and jetways. According to Airlines for America, air travel inside of the United States since 1980 has doubled, on some routes even tripled. So get your heads out of your bottoms and stop believing everything that's on the internet. 